So you want to know about mm -hmm. obstacles to mastering NLP? Well, that depends at what level. Uh, if somebody approaches it with the wrong attitude or has been persuaded that it's something other than what it is, they're going to have problems. Yeah. There are some people who think it's a value system or an approach to, I don't know, making money. It's not it's a set of tools. You can bring them to the possibility of making money, but that's not what it's about. Nor is it about business stuff. The applications that I use in business, I created myself. The, the biggest obstacles to learning NLP are refusing to take responsibility for what goes on in one's own experience. It can seem at first when you have problems or stuff doesn't work out that the world is against you or that there's something evil coming at you or you just don't have good luck. But once you start applying the tools to yourself, to your own heart and to your own mind, what you discover is in more cases than not, if things aren't working well, it's because you aren't working well. In other words, it's not the world's fault. It's not other people's fault. It's you. And for some people, that's a hard one to get. You know? If somebody's a narcissist, all they want is other people's applause. All they want is to be told how great they are. And so for them, you know, blaming other people is the way to go. But once you start taking responsibility for how you feel, and for what's coming up, and for the quality of results that show up in your life, it's kind of a magical thing in itself. You start to feel a little bit better about what's going on. You feel a bit more in control. And then when you start applying tools and methods to that, then life definitely can get better. Don't get me wrong, there is such a phenomenon as luck. There is such a phenomenon as being in the right place at the right time. If you work with the NLP tool set, you can be prepared when those opportunities open up. You know, you can be given every opportunity in the world, but if you're not prepared for it, or if you blow it every time you're given an opportunity, well, you can't blame the world, and you certainly can't blame your tools for it. Other things that get in the way. You know, people coming to NLP because they've got a personality disorder. You want to be seen to be an expert in something or to be a guru or whatever. You know, there's enough gurus in the world. The world does not need another guru. And if you're coming to NLP to solve your own problems in other people, just save us and them the time and effort. If you want to really slow yourself down, try imposing your problems on other people and then solving them. Other than that, there's, you know, there's a few little learning technical problems, but nothing that major that can't be overcome with a little bit of planning and a little bit of consideration for what it is people want.